welcome back to my channel again this week if you are new thank you so much for joining us on this video in here i'll be showing you five of my favorite tricks on how to upcycle or refashion basic clothing into something more stylish and functional especially for the summer season if you want to see what the five tricks are keep watching if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to totally make my day and you will be notified whenever i have new videos so without any further ado or any more rambling let's jump straight into this video Okay, seriously, let's start this video. I'll also be here all day, like literally, all day. The first hack I'll be sharing is how to make a simple bodysuit from a tank top. This is a basic black tank top which I picked up from Primark for about two pounds, which was a bargain. And you wanna make sure you get something slightly long so it to be easy to make, you know, the V-shape at the bottom of a typical bodysuit. So you just get any comfortable brief of yours that is non-stretchy and trace out that V-shape like mark you normally have around bodysuits. And I'm just going to cross check that both sides of the measurement are correct before going ahead to cut with my scissors. For the sake of this video, I've just cut one simple V-shape but in a lot of bodysuits you would see that the front is slightly different from the back but this still works for me because it's enough to wrap around my thighs. So I'm just quickly going to knitting up these seams around here to make sure they don't unravel or they don't grow weird after long use. So I'm just doing a simple stitch by rolling in the fabric twice and just stitching it across the top. So everything is just nice and neat. And you see this tiny bit around the bottom here that was the hem of the tank. I'm going to be attaching these poppers on it so you can attach, take it off and on and wrap around from the front to the back like this. These poppers have two sides, one side that is sewn on this part of the bodysuit and the other side would be attached on the other end which would go on top of it and just conceal everything nice and neatly. So I'm just quickly going to hand tack this in. I'm using only two because the space here is not that much and it works really well. Once you put the two of them together, it just closes up perfectly. So that's it, a bodysuit done. I was so impressed with the outcome and I'll definitely be making more for myself instead of buying it all the time from high street stores. I know I can custom make mine with whatever vest I find. Garment number two is a drawstring in this oversized t-shirt which I got for two pounds from Primark. So the first thing I did was I just laid down the shirt nicely and flat on my table and then I'm going to draw on where I want the drawstring to go. And I got this black sort of light fabric that you can use as a lining of a typical dress. And I'm going to sew that behind the shirt along these lines I have drawn. So before I sew that, I just want to hold it down with a pen so nothing moves while I take it to the machine. So I'm just going to flip this over and then fold the ends. So it's just so much easier to stitch when you take this to the machine. So using pins, I am going to fold this one centimeter inwards and pin it down on just one layer of the t-shirt because you just want to sew it on the front panel of the t-shirt along the sides, along the long sides. So once that is nicely stitched, it's time to pass the cord, also known as the drawstring, through the channel. So using safety pins is so much easier because it's easy to manipulate the cord once it's inside that channel. And I'm just going to pull it nice and out here and pin it onto the shirt and stitch it across so that cord is held in place inside the t-shirt. So I'm just quickly going to sew this on my machine with a normal stitch, cut off any excess thread. And you see once you rouge up the t-shirt, it actually changes the shape. This is a technique I learned at uni and I've been using it a whole lot recently. So this is actually a very common trend right now and I've seen it in high streets. Topshop, H&M, it's everywhere. But here, I made mine and it came out quite good. Number three is to create a peplum on a t-shirt. So I got this great t-shirt again from Primark because, well, why not? And I am going to be cropping it and attaching a peplum with this Ancraft fabric right here. So the first thing I did was to decide 
where I wanted the crop or the peplum to start so I'm just quickly going to mark this with a stainless chalk across the front of the t-shirt and I know once I bring a ruler along and trace up along that line I know exactly where I'm going to be cutting with my scissors so I'm just going to draw a straight line across the t-shirt and all I need to do is draw it in the front because when I cut through I get to the back as well so I'm just ensuring that both sides are equal before I go ahead to cut with my scissors. In one go, I am just going to cut along the line I have drawn and this is where the peplum is going to sit. So the next thing I'm going to do is to create a gathered skirt with this anchor fabric and attach it there. So next up is to play a little with the sleeve of this t-shirt. So I'm just making small pleats along the sleeve and holding it down with a pin before taking it to the machine to stitch it across. So I am making two pleats on each side of the sleeve, just about one and a half centimeters in and holding that down with a pin and just stitch it across the top, not a very long stitch, a stitch about three centimeters long and just from one side to the other on both pleats. And I'm just going to do that on the other sleeve of this t-shirt as well. As simple, as basic as this technique is, it's actually a really nice way to change up the shape and the silhouette of the sleeves. And it just came out with a beautiful result that I think is really, really cool. So the next step is to fix the peplum onto the t-shirt. So I've made a gathered skirt here and I have done this in one of my previous videos. You should go check it out as well. So I'm just going to attach side seam to side seam before taking it onto the machine because the idea is you want the skirt to fit all the way across the t-shirt without having any weird weird bits or dodgy ends now and again so i've pinned down all the necessary points and i'm going to stitch one centimeter around the circle i have created so nice and slow there's no rush in this because you have to pull the gathers loose to make sure it fits on every inch of the t-shirt and I'm going to go ahead and use an overlocker just to, you know, knitting up the seam so nothing unravels and nothing looks weird inside. And this is the outcome. It's quite simple. It almost looks like a little girl's dress, but I think it's quite cool if you wear it with a pair of jeans or with shorts or with mini skirt this summer. It's really cool, very, very comfortable, and I love, love, love the outcome. The fourth is this simple wrap blouse which I made out of anchor print and it's something I found on Pinterest. So you would need this with a fabric that you have to ensure goes across your shoulder and then you would need two bands which you would use to make the waistband of this blouse. To create the neckline I am going to find the middle of this material which sits at 12 inches and then drop it by 4 inches to the front and to the two sides and just connect these three points all the way around to form a circular neckline that is not too big and not too small but it's just enough to go around my head and wide enough to drop down my shoulder if I want to have you know that off shoulder effect so once I've cut that out I am going to take it to the machine and just you know fold it nice and neatly inwards and stitch it along about half a centimeters in Carefully folding the material twice, I am just going to be sewing with a normal stitch all the way around the circle and because it's a circular seam, it has to come out, you know, just about right. So it is time to fix the waistband and I am doing this by sandwiching one part of the, you know, the wrap. The wrap has a front and the back. So I'm going to be sandwiching the front panel here into this waistband and just pin it that down before taking it to the machine to sew. So the idea is once you stitch across once you get that front panel caught up in the waistband and when you sew you extend the stitch all out all the way outwards until you get to the end of the waistband to create the extra flaps that you would tie around the front or the back of this blouse. So once I get to the end, I didn't just like the straight square and I just curved it inwards to create a nice pointy end. Once I'm done with the front panel, I am going to go ahead and work on the back panel of this blouse. 
and the way it works is you tie the two front straps at the back and you tie the two back straps to the front to create a simple wrap blouse that is really functional and so stylish like the ways you could style this are just endless i envision myself wearing this on top of my bikini at the beach or wearing a sweater inside during the winter period so hack number five is making a battle blouse out of this really oversized shirt that i got from primark for five pounds and the idea here is to you know just make something really cool and fun so I am going to start by cutting off the top part of the shirt. I'm just quickly going to mark that down with a chalk, ensuring both sides are equal and I don't have any weird wonky bits here and there. So I'm just going to mark this with the chalk and draw a straight line across the front of the shirt and then going ahead to cut it off with a scissors and just throwing it away. So after that I am going to cut off the sleeves because I don't need it for this tutorial. I'm going to cut off both sides and afterwards taking the excess side seams that this big shirt has because I'm not that big. So once I'm done taking in the side seams I'm going to go ahead and knitting up the armhole on both sides of the shirt. So the idea here is when you lift up your arm you don't just see a raw seam or a raw fabric but a nicely finished seam for the battle detail of this blouse i am using this anchor print and it will have a wide elastic band running through the middle but before i put in the elastic i have to create a tube so i'm doing this by joining the side seams of this material and just pulling that out or bagging it out so i have one long continuous tube and once i'm done pulling it out i'm going to press it nice and flat hold it down with a pin and then mark the points where I want the elastic to run through and just give a little bit of room around it so the elastic at least has room to move inside. Then I'm going to stitch along these lines here and to put the elastic through I'm using my trusty safety pin and passing it through the channel from one end until the other end. This is a really smart way to create gathers and the next thing is to stitch from one end to the other holding in the elastic in place because what you want to have is a secular form that will go around your shoulder of this blouse so the next thing I'm going to try and decide is how I'm going to fix this detail on the shirt so I have divided the battle piece in two one side is going to go across the front and the other side across the back not forgetting to leave a little room around the armhole where your hands are going to pass through so the tricky bit here is as you stitch you pull the elastic so when the elastic goes back to its original form it rouges in the fabric so as I am sewing here I am pulling the elastic and carefully placing the material in place so it just goes in nice and neat and comes out like this I really love the end result and it's another versatile piece that you can either tie up the front or have a belt across or tuck it into pants or just have it open like on a really warm summer day. I love the end result and I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you beauties in my next one. Bye.